and Allison Schaffer was the good guy. The city of the Grabat was ruled by an uncaring monarch, the Sultan, who played with toys, clearly ate too much, and lived in an extravagant palace. Meanwhile, his people were starving and lived in severe poverty, barely surviving as bandits, brothels, and beggars populated the streets. And the Sultan's naive silver spoon daughter thought she understood the people's lives after spending, you know, like two hours outside. So, as the Grand Vizier, that's like a Prime Minister, Jaffer got sent up and did the only thing he could to save his people, orchestrate a coup d'etat to seize power from the ineffective Sultan. Sadly, his plans were foiled by the selfish Aladdin. Aladdin was a self-admitted thief and con man who stole from poor people. He only cared about himself. He got three wishes and used them to become a fake prince in order to hit on the only rich girl in town, save his life from a jam he got himself into, and then free the genie, probably in the hope of having an all-powerful ally, what did he do for his people? Nothing. Jaffer did everything he could to save a Gravac, but in the end, Aladdin prevailed, moved into the palace with the princess, and the Sultan continued ignoring his starving populace. The entire animated movie we saw was told by the genie to paint Aladdin and himself in the best and most sympathetic light. Revisionist history at its best. Jaffer was the good guy.